Hey everybody, it looks like you have an upcoming test, and so this one's on chapter two, numbers to a thousand. So we talked about place value. This is in the thousands place, this is in the hundreds place, this is in the tens place, and this zero is in the ones place. We'll talk about that, okay? So use a word in the box to complete each sentence. So our, we have hundred, thousand, ten. So here's number one. So ten hundreds is the same as what? Uh, what's ten hundreds? Okay, well here's ten, here's one hundred right here. So if we have ten of them right here, then it gives us this thousand block. So ten of these gives us this thousands block. So it's the same as one thousand. Okay, ten tens is the same as, okay, well ten tens is this right here. Here's one ten, so here's ten tens. It's the same as one hundred block or one hundred flat. Okay, this is typically called a, a tin stick or a strip and this is called a hundreds flat and then this big guy here it's called a cube a thousands cube right there okay all right and then um, uh, ten ones is the same as okay ten ones gives us uh, one of these ones gives us this and then ten of these ones gives us one ten right there okay I don't know if you can hear my my little dog Lucy she has a ball the squeaky ball and she wants me to throw it so anyway so she's a found her in front of my classroom about six months ago on a cold winter morning. It was uh, freezing cold and it was in the dark, 6.30 in the morning, and she was right there in the bushes. Anyways, and that would be Lucy. Okay, sorry about that. So write how many tens, circle uh, groups of tens, and write how many hundreds, and write the number. Okay, so how many tens are here? Okay, so each one of these is a ten. There's Lucy, she's trying to get my attention again with the ball. Okay, here we go, sweetie. She'll do that forever and ever and ever. So here's 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So looks like these are all in 10. So here's 10 tens. Here's another 10 tens. So that would be 10 and 10 is 20. Plus 10 more is 30. Plus 10 more is 40, 50, 60. Looks like there's 70 of these 10 strips right here so 70 okay so um, and then it says circle groups of 10 tens okay so here's 10 tens right here let's circle that here's 10 tens let's circle all of these so so that's going to give us when we circle all of those those are all uh, our groups of 10 tens okay so remember 10 tens gives us 100 so since we have seven of these and we have seven hundreds right there and so that would represent seven zero zero or seven hundred yes lucy i see you sweetie okay all right okay like i said she'll play forever and ever and ever you're going to hear that through the whole video sorry about that <laughs> Uh, read the number and draw a quick picture, then write the number in different ways. Okay, 527. Okay, so this 500, we're going to be 500s right there. Okay, so um, it said uh, draw a quick picture. So there's 500s. Okay, we just draw little squares for our hundreds flats right there. Okay, and then 20 is our 10, so there's going to be two 10s, and we'll draw two 10 sticks over here, okay? And then uh, 7 are our 7 1s, so there's our 7 1s right there, and that would be 7 1s, okay? So 500 would be 500, zero, zero. and then uh, two 10s would be 2 with a 0 right there. Okay, look at this. This 5 is in the hundreds place, so when it says 500, it's 500, zero, zero. and then two 10s is 2 zero. I see you, Lucy. Let me have that. And then um, uh, seven ones is just going to be plus seven right there. So five hundred twenty-seven is our is our number right there. Okay. All right. All right. So look at the digits to find the next two numbers. Okay. All right. So there's a pattern with this. So this one goes two three seven two four seven two five seven two six seven. Do you see we're adding one to all the tens digits? I highlighted them in in red here. So the next one is going to be 277 and then 287 right there. We're just adding one to the tens two digits. So the next two numbers are 277, 287. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one says 345, 445, 545, 645. So the only number that's changing is the hundreds digit. So we're going to add one. This is going to be 745, okay, and then 845. Okay, and the next two numbers are 745 and 845, okay? I see you. Yes, I do. Give me that. Please give me that. All right, go get it.
All right, she'll be back in any second now. Uh, fill in the bubble for the correct answer. I, we have four dogs, and they're they're all small dogs. We have Harley, and then Heidi, and then Chucky. Chucky was my mother-in-law's uh, dog, and um, uh, and so we got her because she passed away about a year ago. And then I uh, found Lucy in front of my classroom door. So now we have four dogs and two cats, and we live out on a ranch in Sacramento area. Anyways, and we have two neighboring horses, Josie and Arrow, and uh, it's just uh, a farm out here. Anyway, so what's another name for 14 tens? Okay, so here's 14 tens. Looks like one, two, three, four, five. Here's another five right there. So these 10 tens makes a hundred block right there, okay? So now we can just replace this hundred block plus these four tens right here. So so this is 100, that's what this is, 104 tens, that's going to be this one, 104 tens right there. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Okay, so it asks us to bubble it in, so we bubble in that one right there. Okay, all right. So uh, there is a three-digit number that has four in the ones place. So four in the ones place is this one. This one has seven in the ones place. This one has a five in the ones place. This one has a four in the ones place. This one has a five in the ones place. So it looks like this one. Let's keep going. It has a five in the tens place. That's the middle digit. That's this guy right here. So looking good. And then a seven in the hundreds digit. So it's this one right here. Okay. So just by process of elimination, the four in the ones place... This is the only one that has a four in the ones place, so it has to be this one right here, okay? All right, so Scott has 524 marbles. Bob has 561 marbles. Which of the following is true? Okay, so we look at the 500s here. It's 524 greater than 561. Well, the hundreds digits are the same, but the tens digit here is less than, and less than would make it pointing this way, so it's not this one right here. Okay, how about 524 and 561? Okay, this one looks like it's it right here. Five is, um, uh, these guys are equal, so we look at the next ones, the tens digits. Two, two tens is less than six tens, so this one is going in the correct uh, order right there, okay? All right, so it's there, there's our correct answer right there. The other ones are not true. 524, uh, 524, whoops, this one is also true. I should have made it go back this way. Sorry, let's do that. I'm going to make it go back so that one's false, okay? And then uh, 561 is, is not less than 245, okay? 524 is actually greater than 499, okay? Anyways, so we wanted to make it false, okay? So we can only have one correct answer on that. Okay, fill in the bubble for the correct uh, answer. What, what number is shown with these blocks? Okay, so here we have two hundreds flats right here. Now look, here's five, here's five. So these 10 flats gives us one more of these guys right there. So now we have three hundreds blocks, two tens blocks, and three ones blocks. So 323. So it's this guy right there. So we just got to remember that um, uh, 10, 10 blocks gives us one more hundreds blocks right there. Okay. All right. So Mr. Um, Mr. Hogan is pronounced. I know there's an R in there. It's actually Mr. Hogan, but it is Horgan, but it is Mr. Hogan. The R is silent. So Mr. Hogan has 437 sheets of paper. Mrs. Viegas has 100 few, fewer sheets of paper than Mr. Hogan. How many sheets of paper does Mrs. Viegas have? Okay, so 100 fewer means we're going to take a 1 off of this 4 right there. So it's going to be 337. These numbers stay the same. So it's this guy right there, 337. All right, so uh, what is another way to write the number 582? Okay, so this is 582. 500, 8 tens, 2 ones. So 500, we could, yeah, it's this one. Here's 500 plus 8 tens is 80 plus 2 ones, okay? This one would right here, 528 would be 528. It's not that one right there. That's so they got it mixed up right there. 580 would be 580. And this would be, that's a 1, that's a 1, this would be 510, it's this one right here. So it's 500 plus 80 plus 2, 500 plus 80 plus 2 right there, okay? All right, so uh, write the number that is 10 less than 258 and the number that is 100 more than 258. Okay, so 10 less than means we're going to subtract 
one from this. So that would be 248 right there, okay? All right, and then, so let's go down. How do we uh, how do we find that number? Well, what we did is we, we tend less than, I mean, we take uh, one off that tens digit right there, so right there, okay? And then 100 more just means we're going to add one to the hundreds digit, so it's going to be, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and add one, and this is going to be 358, okay? All right, what else do we have here? So, uh, there are 100 books on a shelf. On the table, there are 15 stacks of books with 10 books in each stack. What three-digit number tells us how many books there are? Okay, so here's, we're going to draw, and it says draw a quick picture of that. So here's the, the, uh, the flat, the square that represents the 100 right there, okay? And then on the table, there's 15 stacks of books with 10 books in each stack. So we're going to draw uh, 10 sticks. We'll draw 15 of them right there, okay? So there's 15 10 sticks right there, okay? Now remember, 10 of those gives us another hundreds blocks right there. So now we have 100, 200, and then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have 200. There's no ones. Didn't tell us there was any single books laying around. So um, uh, our number is 250, okay? 200, and then these are our 10. So the 5 has a in there, the 5 in the 10 spot right there. But there's no 1, so there's 0, 1. So 250 right there. Okay, what other two numbers, uh, uh, what other, or other two ways to write this number? Well, one way is to write it as 200 plus 50 plus 0, or just 200 plus 50 right there. Another way to write it is 200s, 5 tens. Okay, here's 200, it's in the 100 spot, and then 5 tens right there. All right, you guys, good luck on your upcoming exam or test or assessment or however your teacher wants to tell you what that is, okay? All right, take care.